Hey guys, this is Derek and LJ. Hi. Right now we are actually going to show you guys how to do a, a new snare. Basically just going to show you how to tie the uh, snare part. It's um, basically one side of a rope or yep. a rubber band. Cut a, a so, rubber band. I am going to show you guys how to actually tie the noose part. Um, the rest of it will be based on if you want to make the counterweight snare or the spring the spring snare. Um, they're on the same basic principle. Um, just you're using two different things. Which um, later on once the weather breaks and it's a little bit warmer. I will show you guys the two different ones or at least one of them just for a basic idea but um, I will show you guys how to do the noose part so that way when it comes down to it I can actually show you guys the rest of it later on so we'll get to it alright so here's the rope what you're gonna do Make a loop. And do that. And right there is the actual noose. As you can see right there. This part will help keep things loose so that way you can actually move it up and down and notice the news part then with that being made you actually want to take the other, the other end of the rope the other working end and say you want to get some counterweight which you can use, you know, wood or rocks or anything like that. Um, the heavier the better. Not in every case though. Um, with certain cases, yes, you, you'd want to use something fairly light if you're doing small game. If you're going to do something, you know, get bigger game, you're going to want uh, a stronger rope and heavier weight. Um, other than that, um, you would be using wood. Yeah, you can use wood, like rocks, this. um, like this. yep. Pretty much like this. Um, basically anything you can find, just gather quite a bit of it, depending on how much weight you want. Um, then you're going to take the other end, throw it over something. Like a beam. Yeah, you're gonna use a branch. Basically, something overhead like that beam like right here. Or this We're actually gonna show you guys really quick. It's hard. Yes, it is actually a little on the difficult side, but. Yeah. But it, it takes you some time. Probably take you like two minutes or four. Well, depending on how good you are with the rope. Yeah. How do you do it? Oh, there we go. So see, it took him two tries. Basically, what you're going to want to do: take the uh, noose part. And you can hang something. Yep. You're gonna make sure it's you know this tight. is fairly open, but tight enough where nothing it won't come undone. Take that. Or you can use a piece like this and put it right there, and then pull it. Then, and then say you want to get some weight. Yeah. You're gonna take. 
this is wood. Tie, tie knot. Yeah, I'm actually gonna make the same kind of knot. Knot. And that right there will be your counterweight. So there. Oh, this is it. All right, yeah, set it like right over here. So anyway, basic idea, this is the counterweight snare. So that right there is a counterweight. See it dangling from, you know, a branch or, you know, something above your head. So that way when you get a trap or get something that goes into the trap, let go. It falls and it, it traps what you're trying to get. But there's there's a little more to it. Um, there's actually going to be another wire, but as you can see, it did get the piece of wood. Um, well, other than that, that is the counterweight snare. Um, start to finish. Make sure, and make sure to click, click subscribe. like, subscribe, and we'll keep you guys posted.